Hello humans, I think this is going to be the last one of the night, another two for the price of one. It's a, it's a Lawrence special, can you tell? Um, so yeah, these, these two have both got little backstories, like, like everything does, because like, why would you just paint something for the shit out of it, which I have tried and it works out all kinds of bad. Um, this was actually going to be a still life. I had started on a pumpkin and I was going to do rather rather than a sort of still life on a table or something I was going to do it much more sort of close up I'm not entirely sure where I was going with this but it was coming up to Halloween and or on Halloween one or the other and Lawrence tweeted somebody draw me as a pumpkin and the inevitable happened and you know how you get really artistic carved pumpkins where the, the layers of pumpkin are carved away it, it very thinly so you have different shades of orange glowing through the skin of the pumpkin that that's what that's supposed to represent um, so much as the Fifty Shades of Beverage was monochrome hell this was brown and orange hell um, and yellow so <laughs> Yeah, that, that was that was a bit interesting to paint. Um, I've got the pumpkin done already, um, or, or mostly done, um, and then finishing up to this took a week. The the little knobbly stump on the top of the pumpkin was the most annoying part of this one to draw, paint, thing. Um, just couldn't seem to render it right, but. Overall, I'm quite pleased with how that ended up. This one is still from their Unbreakable Hearts DVD from the uh, deluxe edition. Um, messing around in the hot tub at Will's in Seattle. And I just love the colours in the water. Um, so yeah, I, I froze the, vi the DVD, took a screenshot. Um, took several screenshots, got what I wanted to work on, and this is the result. Um, I'm again going to point out the signatures on these, because here you have the sort of block capitals and the FVK fangs, and here lowercase FVK fangs and a coloured in heart for reasons that escape me entirely. But, you know, do things differently. Why do things the same all the time? Um, in some ways, I think that this was one of my more artistic artings, um, because you're not use, you're not even attempting to use natural colours. Just the sort of swirliness of it all. It was it was a lot more fun to paint. Um, than I had imagined. The only problem is over here on the purples it's gone all blotchy and I don't know how that happened and I don't know how to fix it whereas the rest of the colours seem to have worked out fine, reasonably so. Um, just that ruddy lilac. But from a distance it's not too bad, it looks okay when it's on the wall I think, so again, you know, I paint for my own purposes and that's it if you don't like it, because it's mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I know I have problems, but what can you do? Um, I have to say I've in, enjoyed painting them, so that's the point. Why do something that you don't enjoy? Layers.